So you're directly connecting the soil, the quality, the diversity, the microbiome, the health. You're directly connecting that to the gut microbiome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that, for example, there was a recent update of a study called My Baby Biome Research, where they're looking at three, they recruited three to seven month olds. They're going to follow them for seven years, and they provided data update at two years. 25% of these children have no a particular taxa called bifidobacteria. That means it's basically extinct in these individuals. Now, what's going to impact there? Their immune system will not work right. Their cancer risk is through the roof, and there's other autoimmune disease. So, but I would say that goes back to the practices that we've had over the last 50 to 75 years as a whole in the soil. And instead of saying, well, nutrition and farmers are passing on nutrients, they should be passing on microbes, but they're not. 